We're looking at a photo here taken just after the end of World War II of a teenage girl named Serafina Strasser. Serafina was Jewish, born in Poland, and she was only nine years old when the Germans invaded her native country. Over the next five years, she would endure really an unimaginable series of losses and traumas. Both her mother and her sister were murdered. Um, her aunt and cousins uh, had a very violent death. Uh, she was in hiding in a series of locations, really just trauma after trauma. But the reason that I selected that image is because when Serafina was only 14 years old, she was in hiding in yet another uh, precarious place trying to evade German capture, and she was actually raped by her rescuer. Um, a young married couple was offering her shelter, and when the wife went out to run an errand, the husband raped the teenage girl who he was supposed to be protecting. I wanted to bring this photo forward because I think that the threat of sexual violence and the number of crimes of rape um, is so neglected, I think it makes people uncomfortable to remember it, to talk about it. Many victims of these attacks, of course, were also feeling totally understandable feelings of, of shame and didn't want to talk about it. But when we erase this part of history, we're erasing so much of the experience of women and girls during this time in ways that they, and some men also, were vulnerable to attack and ways that power dynamics played out. So in this case, it's a man who is doing something good for her. He is saving her life, but he is also exploiting the power he has over her. Uh, to violate her physically. And so I want to pay honor and tribute to Serafina, but also to the millions of other women whose stories we will never know who endured similar crimes. <laughs> <laughs>